Hello there, Internet. Version 2 here with Let's Play Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And today we have got ice and we have got fire. And we have dragon because the shield is dragon. Because today is Alatreon, the blazing black dragon. But also the Avatar Dragon, because it can control all the elements. And it's a black dragon, and I saw the developer diary, and there's a tact that if you don't do enough elemental damage, it just fucking kills you. And maybe still fucking kills you even if you do. Um, so today is Alatreon. We're speaking to you, who's freezing her ass off over here. She mentions when you walk past her, freezing. So, um, we're gonna, we're gonna talk to- not the Poogie, not you, Dodo Hama. Third fleet master. Please, give me a moment. What's up? I got here as fast as I could. I need time to collect myself. W what's happening? I mean, other than Alatreon. Alatreon? I don't know. Yes, I'm fine now. Like the developers said Alatreon, but I've heard people say Alatreon too. So. The scouts. They've spotted something nefarious within the secluded valley. It's an Alatreon! The new commander must be alerted. But I'm not myself right now. I'm out of breath. Where did you run from? Can't, can't, don't we just land? How close to Seliana do you land if you're tra traveling by airship? Deep breaths. Mm. Oh, it's freezing. Or is it just that you don't like the cold set? Okay. All right. Come. We must hold council immediately. We will do so. To the council room. Now that you've warmed up and caught your breath, do you want to tell us what's happening? It is you that might need to catch your breath. I bring alarming news. Our scouts in the secluded valley caught sight of something. We found a dragon and we need to kill it. An Alatreon. What? What? <laughs> Alatreon? First time I'm hearing this name. What are we dealing with here? So I think from my understanding, there's literally only like three black dragons that exist in all of Monster Hunter. So even one of them's a big fucking deal. To be honest, I'm not sure. It's regarded as a symbol of destruction, and just uttering its name causes panic. No surprise. No records of Alatreon have survived. Isn't it in, like, the previous games, though? <laughs> Where are the, survives from the, the, the records that survive from those games? Alatreon, an elder known as the Blazing Black Dragon. Yeah, see, she knows her shit. What we know is what was witnessed in the place known as the Sacred Land. It's a monster that has complete control of the full force of nature. The full force of nature? You mean the elements? Yeah, it's literally all the fucking elements in a single dragon. Being able to control all of the elements seems completely nuts. Do we have anything else to go on? <laughs> Nothing. What? No other records? I wonder if Sacred Land's like a place that was actually in the previous games. No, there really is nothing else. Again, this must have been the previous games, like... There were a few people who refused to accept that something like Alatreon could exist <laughs> in the world. Didn't a hunter in a previous game kill it? I feel like there should be some records. And they went and burned the few records we had of the monster. Oh! Oh no, we totally did kill it, and then there was people who just were just like, Nah, fuck that, not real though. And, you know, burnt it. They burned them? What fucking assholes? Why would they do that? Who knows? But it happened a long time ago. So, like, how far into the future compared to the old games is worlds? <laughs> but don't lose hope. It's not too late. We can still kill it. We're the research commission. Just say the word, and we'll get started <laughs> on making new records by killing it. We owe it to the world to make it so. Let's get started as soon as we can. Roger. I'll prep a special assignment. Is... Is Alatreon doing anything? Like, if it's been in the Guiding Lands this whole time, a place we didn't even know existed until relatively recently, is it doing anything? Or are we just rocking up to kill it for research? Like, the special assignment doesn't seem to start with, like, oh, it's threatening shit, or it's... Like, Shara was threatening to destroy shit. I mean, I guess Safi Jeeva was literally fucking asleep when we found it, so... Thanks. Hunter, take the quest and head out. Triple check your gear before you depart. Will do! I have made a set based on what I've heard, 
and what little time I had to prepare because I've been very busy. If the legends <laughs> are true, this symbol of destruction is going to put up a hell of a fight. Don't go in alone. Make sure you assemble a team. I will try first alone. Thank you very much. So I'm not going in with a team and letting them down by not knowing what to do. Our handlers and scholars will split up. <laughs> we'll have a group out there providing support while the rest will be on standby at base. Those on standby will get started on recording all reports about the beast as soon as they come in. I think that should cover things. Okay. Fascinating. I wonder how that monster can control all of the elements. What makes that possible? It's a black dragon, which means it's powerful. Cannot stop shivering with curiosity. No, that's just the cold. <laughs> we'll know soon enough, I hope. All right, hunters, fight hard, stay smart, and get back home safely. We'll try and do. All right, special assignment. Here we go. Um, again, I've made a set based on what we saw in the developer diary. Um on how to tackle this again it's not super amazing um because i didn't have much time to put it together anything super like focused i kind of just went with the best that i was able to muster up with what i have you'll notice um i'm using a safi weapon that isn't even complete because not all the things on it are level five um but i'm super willing to just be like this episode is recon. I will make a better set and then try it later. I'm super willing to do that because, again, there's like three black dragons in Monster Hunter. In total, I feel like they should probably put up more of a fight than most other shit. So, I'm expecting this to be the realest fight that we've had in the game. Um, wow, they immediately shove you into the gathering hub. Um, okay, Alexander has been discovered as Squid Valley. Um, glad your friend's take special assignment. Blazing Black Twilight, investigate. Um, okay. Yep, okay. I, I hear like, a couple other people here. Okay, again, first attempt on my own as a recon. Uh, how are Hello, hi, Pub Blast. We don't see you very often in this LP. Alright, Master Rank, special assignment, Blazing Black Twilight, Secluded Valley, uh, with multiple layers. So we're gonna go down all of them like we do with Safi. I'm curious, because it's literally the same Safi place. Okay, here we go. Nope. <laughs> Again, not for a first attempt, because I don't want to fuck it up for other people by not knowing what I'm doing. All right, Blazing Black Twilight. Here we go. Careful preparation is required for any hunter hoping to slay Alatreon. Here are a few tips how to get ready. Use elemental attacks. Alatrain has the power to unleash devastating attacks that can one-shot hunters. You can weaken the strength of these attacks by using elemental weapons on Alatrain. You cannot weaken its attacks with non-elemental weapons or while you're afflicted with Dragon Blight. No turning back. Farcasters cannot be used. And the lowest level of security values. Okay. No Farcasters. No Farcasters. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, is that one? No. There we go. Is that the one? I don't remember which No, this one. Because I have a plan. I have no idea how well that plan is going to work on my own. It's probably my best bet. But my plan is, so I have seen on, like, the dev thing that you need to use elemental attacks to stop its attack. Eschaton Judgment, which, by the way, is just a fucking incredible name for a monster to have. Where it just chews through your health. And if you use elemental attacks, you can weaken how much that does. So my plan is, because I noticed it was red health, is that I've got on me a zero jerky in here. Um, and also, on my equipment, I have health booster. I'm going to place down a health booster, spam eating that, and hope I survive. And also just eat for an extra cart. So, hell, even if I die to that attack, hopefully I can kill it before the number of cards ends. But I have no expectation of killing it on my first attempt. Also, I have made an Alatreon attempt. Um dragon focused weapon it has no critical elements or anything like that i couldn't get like since hearing about it and just like here here's what you need to do oh cold's not available so i can't even attempt to get the critical element cold weapons i couldn't work out a good set to make um with either true critical elements on silver Athelos or just normal crit elements on volcana so i don't have any of that shit and again my sappy jiva weapon is not completed um it's not even dual blades it's still sword and shield because again i am not i'm I will probably, if I fail here, go for a dual blade set and learn how to play dual blades before I attempt it. Because dual blades are just the best weapon for element. Um, 
So here we go. I swear the look of the armor has nothing to do with uh, why I chose this. Okay, part of the layered armor is. But the buff chest is legit, right? Because it has three agitators, because so I got a bunch of agitator. It also comes with fortify, because I'm accepting that I'm going to die during this. So I have fortify it on, so I'll get stronger. And that's what the buff chest has. Um, the legs are absolutely layered to match the outfit, though, <laughs> that I'll say. Um, so this is the plan. Um... Like, I've got a bunch of Agitator, got all my Dragon Attack going, Critical Eye uh, is as high as it can be while I have everything else um, covered. Of Sun Resistance, Health Boost, Blight Resistance, if it's doing all of them, fuck it, Blight Resistance, why not? Uh, Wings Exploit, I don't know about Peak Performance, but, like, I do the combined Peak Performance stuff that just gives me the Health Boost. Probably not going to be super useful here, I do have Speed Eating on here and Recovery Up. I'm wonder I was wondering, should I just go for this one? Because it has all of the uh, free meal um, speed eating shit that I have. Because it's my healing set. Um, and I could just change the agitated charm out for, say, a dragon attack charm. But, um, again. I'm going to go in with this one first. I'll try on my own. I'll try with a team. Um, with, um, again, just putting on. Because I got the Worm's Vein charm, so that's all five. So I'll try this weapon and this charm. On my wide range set with the team, see how that works if um, this doesn't go. And if I can't get it to work then, then, you know, we'll come back on a different video when I've actually tried to make a much better set for this. But, what type of set I will want to make will depend on how the fight goes, how much is the rest of the fight a problem, how much of a problem is Eschaton Judgment, etc, etc, etc. I'm trying to take this more seriously in terms of preparation than most hunts because it is a fucking black dragon. <laughs> so hopefully it works and I'm taking this. I could take... The elemental resistance stuff because it does all of them. Um, actually, go in here for a second. Okay, so I'm not so bad. On, uh, I hopefully I don't get hit by ice attacks much. Is, is the main thing here. Because um, I could take the elemental resistance, try and just reduce damage from everything it's going to do to me, or I can go for another card. And if there's an attack that is going to one shot me and I can't avoid being one shot by that attack. I'm gonna take this. Also, yes, I'm aware I now am playing Elemental Sword and Shield, so yes, I will focus on the round slash combos with circle and triangle attacks and only do the back step into falling bash stuff. When I'm not doing falling bash, I'm doing perfect rush, because perfect rush is really good at doing element damage. Um Like I think it's scale like I think you do more element damage per attack on perfect rush than most normal attacks. Like I think I remember saying that specifically with perfect rush. Um so like, I'm gonna lose, like, like if this is what it is being hyped up to be by the devs as just, here's a really fucking difficult fight, also fuck you, then I'm prepared to go in losing. But, again, recon. <laughs> so, are we getting Fatalis after this? Like, I, if we're getting a black dragon now, I can't see us not ending on a black, another black dragon. Like, Fatalis just, I don't even know Fatalis. Other than it's like rolled in just like the final boss of Monster Hunter 1 and it's like the god of all monsters and shit. Yeah, we- Yeah, I sorry for dragging you into this one, Drake. There you are! Hello! Hi, Alatreon! I mean, the idea of a dragon that controls every element is fucking sick. I do like that. I'm very curious how the fight's gonna go, because everything that we've seen so far is just... Here's its big explosion attack! I haven't really seen much about what it does outside of that. Like, how does it use its elements and shit, so... I will say, it does look cool. I really dig its horns. The front chest spike thing there, I don't know if... I, I don't know about that. But I do love the ha its horns on its head. It has fireballs! Like, that's dragon fire breath. Like, that is definitely both coming out there. And now we're just setting fire to the entire room that it had frozen. Yeah! Set the fucking stage. Burn all of Saki's skin! Fuck that asshole! Wow. Like, it was down here, so pr presumably just chilling, literally. Then we showed up and it got so pissed, it set everything on fire. So.
I mean, this cutscene's doing a lot to just make it an imposing figure. I do appreciate that. All right, here we go. That's Alatreo. Must be hiding some incredible power. Oh Jesus! Oh, it, oh explosions! Oh, perfect! I I did not even mean to do that. Okay, can I get in a mount? Ow! Ow! Okay. Thanks for the heal, cat. Thank you. Oh Jesus! Okay. Okay. No. Yeah, that's why I'm doing a different build because my normal build is lost. So that's why I'm, I'm trying for this. Oh God. Okay. Boom. Boom. I will say that's a cool attack. I don't really dig that. Okay, here, here we go. We're just going to immediately do this. Um, perfect timing to do this. Oh, Jesus. All right, yes, perfect. Actually got the clutch call exactly how I wanted it to. Oh, God. Okay. Perfect, fucking perfect. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. I love the the um, effects on its attacks. Like, so far, it's looking very sick. Oh god, okay. Oh Jesus, okay. It's possible to roll through that. Probably better to try and do that. Oh, uh, I see it drawing in there. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus, okay. It really is just his element attacks everywhere. Did I hurt. Did I win both of its arms by doing that? Like, it seems like both of its legs are tenderized with me tenderizing a single front leg. If that's the case, oh, that's that's nice. Like, if both of its front legs count as a single... Oh, Jesus! Okay. Oh, God. Oh! Whoa! All right, spitting out water shit. Oh, God! Oh, we can set its own water on fire. <laughs> okay, of course it can. Of course it can. Oh, God. Ah, Jesus! The thing this, the sounds this thing makes. The sounds this fucking thing makes. Good God. Listen to that. What is that? Like just that alone gives you the impression that this is something we have not dealt with before because it just sounds so different. And yeah, it really is ju just... Like I wasn't sure because the... um. Okay, is this it? No, no, that's not it. Okay, okay, because the way they kind of described it um, on that, where it had like fire active mode and ice active mode and stuff like that, it made me think, okay, so is it going to be in like this mode, it does all of its fire attacks? This mode, it does all, all of its water attacks? Uh, although this is probably very bad. <laughs> Jesus. It's shifting elements. Okay, I get also. Oh, it's, okay, so it's amazing horns. Yeah, you can see it's... You can see his horns glowing as it does that. Okay. Like, as it goes to do any of it, like, its element attacks, you can see its horns glowing. I tried. I tried. Yeah, like, I was... I was... Oh, where are you going? Oh, get back here. But I was wondering, is it going to be like, oh, in fire active mode, it does fire attacks. In um, ice active mode, it does ice attacks. And it seems to be, no... It might focus on one of them in a particular mode, but in all modes, it's going to use all of its attacks, and you can't fucking stop it from doing so. Okay. This fuck is in the... Talk up into the air once, it has not come back down onto the ground since. I'm so dead. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. We have, we, we have Velcana's ice crystals around here. Okay. Get back over here! Actually, you're not enraged right now. I know I don't have temporal. Oh god, the, the hit effects on that. So okay, here we go. But I should have done the circle attack instead. Ow! Ah, oh, try on. Here we go. In the wall you go. Oh fuck you! Fuck you! You slid against the wall. Oh fuck you! You so slid in against the wall doing that. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's... Just, okay, so that isn't an explosion. It's just it does damage as it happens. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Its attacks are everywhere. <laughs> like, it, they're everywhere. It does kind of seem like 
close to it? Oh god, fuck. It does kind of seem like being close to it can actually be the safest spot. Other than its explosion attacks that it has. Urgh, urgh. I want to mount! <laughs> I don't even know if I should bother trying. Oh my god! I just so quickly just... Oh, I didn't mean to eat the other max potion. That's alright. Okay. Okay. How am I meant to get... <laughs> How am I meant to get enough element damage on it when I can't even attack the fucking thing? <laughs> okay. Ah, fucking... How did I accidentally... Like, go through that so perfectly at the start and now I can't get it. Like, actively trying. Fuck. <laughs> Oh god, okay. So it does, it spreads out and then comes back in. I imagine this would be so much worse if I didn't have full blight resistance on. Oh god, here we go, okay. Okay. Yeah, no, no, that's instant. That's instant, that's instant death. Okay, okay, if you don't weak it, no. It will kill you faster than you can eat things. Got it? You need to suppress Alatreon's power using elemental weapons. Field team leader, I am fucking trying. How about you eat my knights? <laughs> I am trying. <laughs> Did you not see me try? I was- I'm using element weapons. I don't know how I'm meant to get the opportunity to fucking attack the thing enough to do that. Is that the idea just like, there's no way you're going to be able to even get enough element attacks in without, um teammates to actually suppress that? I feel like that might be the idea. Oh god. Honestly, in some capacity, lightning kind of seems like one of its easy attacks to dodge because it's just wherever you are, roll out of the way. No, so even if you're next to it, it's kind of fine. Okay, yep, okay. So we run away from that one. I forgot to have my max potion. <laughs> I want to be at full health, like fuck. <laughs> oh god. Like, I imagine if I'm not doing enough damage to, um, negate its big attack, I'm probably not doing enough damage to kill it, be like, before it just- like, if I only die to Espeson Judgment, if I only die to that, if I'm not negating- oh god. God, I was stuck on the ground. Honestly, I will say, that is one of the knockdown animations I hate the most. Is the one where you're just on your back and you can't do anything. Because it's just like, just get off the fucking ground. So, like, I just want to say to my character, just get up. You're just crawling back like a coward. Just get up. Because it's a down state where you can't do anything, but you can still be hit by attacks. Like, at least if you just let yourself lie on the ground in the other ones, like in the other states, then... Like, it doesn't hurt, like, you can't be hurt, that's what I'm trying to say. I will say I'm glad that all of its legs are weak. I will say I'm very glad that all of its legs are weak. Also, make sure you attack its head to, like, um, weaken its element power. How am I meant to do that? <laughs> its head is way too high to attack. <laughs> it's up, like, look how high up its head is. <laughs> With any weapon that, attack, that is actually, like, really good for doing element damage, you can't hit the head up that high. Because it's this and dual blades. <laughs> Those two. Or aerial insect blade. I wonder how good aerial... Like, that might be the one best way to do aerial... Um, to do insect blade. Just element on this. And then it starts flying. Okay. Ow. Okay, it's like, it's normal attacks are fucking sick. I love the visual effects on them. I honestly really like the way they come out, too. Like, it it does so many different things already with its attack, with its, like, normal attacks. Like, it has these projectiles, area denials, um, like, beam attacks, targeting attacks. Like, it does a lot of different types of attacks. Being, like, multi-element is definitely help, helping that. Like, but the way that it has so many different attacks is really sick. They're not too bad. Like, they're not too bad. The, like, the regular old, um, attacks. Um, and then it becomes down to Eskazon Judgment, did you succeed the DPS check? And if not, you know, eight decks. 
Also, I gotta say, the whole idea of... Oh, fuck. Like that. I hate that shit. I hate that. It's so annoying. Um, The whole thing of... When it's in different modes, it uses different, um, like, it's in different element modes. So it has different weaknesses. So use different weapons to take advantage of those different weaknesses. You can't farcaster. You can't farcaster. How am I meant to take advantage of what different element it is in, in different things, if I can't go back to camp? Like, I just have to choose an element on my weapon and just be aware that it'll be weak in some modes and not weak in others. <laughs> Like, I don't... Oh, god damn it. It has too many of these attacks! <laughs> but I'm just mainly so salty about that because I have fucking stun resistance to stop that literal situation from arising of I mean, I can't dodge the next attack because I can't move. And that one attack is like the one thing that hits the stun resistance. But that type of stun is the one stun that hits the stun resistance. Other than paralysis, which it's like it doesn't even have, thank god. But, um, so then we just chip away the legs. When you have to dodge, you, you dodge, you know, if you're able to. I wonder if I have enough Namiel tickets to, like, make all the Namiel gamma armor. I think I got enough. If I, you know, don't make the late armor that I couldn't make anyway, because I didn't have the, like, the tickets from the, um, what's it called? The arena. Because I'm just wondering, that shit can, do like, if you wield that armor, uh, like, all the Namiel armor, you'll dodge through anything and, like, never use up stamina. And also you get Namiel's, um, element acceleration. And I wonder how good element acceleration is. <laughs> like, because this is... Ow. Oh, how did I dodge that? Um. I didn't mean to do shield attacks. Because what I'm doing here is, like, not enough element damage. It is just not... Crayon's readying a big attack. Get your healing items ready. Yeah, no, just there's no. It's no. The answer is no. No. Okay. Okay. If you don't weaken it, it is unsurvivable. You suppress Alatreon's power using elemental weapons. I wish I could shoot you. I wish I could shoot you in the face. I really do. Um. Like, I'm trying to do that. Again, I was given a week. Like, I don't build for element. Like, the main reason I don't build for element is because I hate having to get multiple of the same goddamn weapon. Um, to build for element. Like, just, oh, I have this build. I need to make this build five times to play element and change it on the monster. Like, I don't do element because of that shit. And also how much they said element was buffed in, uh, in Iceborne. Uh, Brawl still seems pretty good anyway, so like, it doesn't matter. Um, except for this one situation, and it's just like, yeah, I had, uh, like, between Alatreon's announcement and Al- Ow. Did you wind pressure me into being stuck in that? Fuck you. Um. Yeah, so like, with a week to go before this, and also just like, it's a week. I don't have much time in a week. <laughs> Like, I don't record many videos anymore, people probably notice, because, you know, I'm so busy, so, like, I never have time to display shit loads of monster hunter to get ready for a build, but, um, again, like, when I fail this, because there's no way I'm succeeding, again, if I'm not doing enough damage to, like, to fuck up Eschaton Judgment, then I'm not doing enough damage to kill it before it does Eschaton Judgment four times. Like, that's not happening. Um... And again, like, I'm aware, I don't have a great el- Like, my element build right now is I have a weapon with high element, and I have, like, Wormsbane on. Like, that's my element build right now, and I'm aware that there's way better ways to build element. Like, I don't even have a weapon with purple sharpness, or, or anything like that. Like, I'm aware, I don't have a great build for this. Um, again, like, I literally don't even have all of the element fives on my Safi weapon that I wanted. because uh, I couldn't get enough Safi, um... Things. Oh, I was gonna do that! <laughs> there we go. Um, but yeah, so, I will try this with teammates, just randoms, uh, once when we fail here, and then when that inevitably doesn't work, so I'm gonna guess that, uh, but, uh, like, this is day one, this is day one, I'm doing this, 
I don't know when the fuck this is gonna go up, because I don't even know when I'll have a chance to, like, edit it and shit, <laughs> for it to actually go up. But I'm recording this day one. It's within, I think, eight hours of the update going live. Like, I'm doing this pretty soon. Oh, I think, is that just being explosion? Oh, there's shifting elements that says that. This is the only time you can play like, Because I can think of I can think of two main ways to do to do this in terms of element. And it's either element dual blade and just focus on doing damn near only element damage with dual blade um, with the dual blades. Or build bow gun and aim for the horns. Because I'm wondering if a horn break will just, like, instant count as doing enough to weaken it. I'm gonna guess not, but, like, it could. Um. Because this is, because these are where the que these are where my questions arise. Not what I wanted to weaken. But, you know, why not? Now your wings look fucked up. Oi! I'm trying to clutch for you. You're not allowed to fly away. Stop flying away when I go to clutch claw you, you bastard! Get here! Stop it! I swear to god, Alatrion! 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 Some say Alatrion! Or would it be the other way around? I don't know. Actually, does this fucking get tenderized in one go? I just tenderized your left. This fucking gets tenderized in. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I was about to say, this time I get in one go. But I tenderize his legs, but I don't remember pre tenderizing his legs at any point. Oi! But, um. Yeah, because the, 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 the options will be either Element Jewel Blades and try to fuck it up that way, or Element Bow Gun and aim for the horn. And I don't know which one of those is going to be better. I don't know which one I'd be better at. Um, because I'm not good with light bow gun, but I've never tried dual blades. But also I've heard that dual blades are a relatively easy weapon to pick up. I hope so. Um, because I mean at this stage, I don't know. Because it would be, like the two best ways to do element right now is either true element, um, wrath, right? Um, Silver Wrath, or it's, um, get a Kajar weapon off Cold and go for the, um, what's it called? It's the element, uh, critical element on the weapon, and then you can build an entire set around uh, uh, other things as well. So, I don't know which one of those is going to be best, but hey. Okay, well. Crayon's readying a big attack. Get your healing items ready. Yeah, yeah. So how frequent is that attack? Is it like every six to eight minutes? I think I, it looks like it might be every roughly six to eight. You need minutes. to suppress Alatreon's power using elemental <clears throat> weapons. Because it's just yeah, like what I've got now obviously isn't working. <laughs> I mean, it's also I'm not attacking it very often because it's very hard to attack when there are when there's explosions and elements going everywhere. Like it's very hard to attack doing that. Like, in terms of doing this as a team, as solo and stuff like that, like... Like, I saw the dev diary, but I haven't, like, gone on social media or the YouTube or anything like that to sit out. Uh, to see what are other people... Jesus. Um... <laughs> given that attack, fuck. Like, cause I, I haven't seen what other people's responses and reactions or even strategies or, or anything up. How are other people doing this, uh, against this? Like, is soloing this a thing that people are eventually doing? Or, are, or is everyone doing it as a team? Like, I mean, like, I'm, I'm aware, and it's always been the case. DPS is not my thing. <laughs> like, despite playing one of the best DPS weapons in the game, I'm not good at it. Like, I'm not good at staying on the monster that consistently. I mean, like, so we talk about, I talk about, I talk at you. Um, fuck off! I'm trying to heal! But I mentioned sometimes, like, there are certain monsters in the game that using sword and shield in of itself is a hard fucking counter to the monster. Because it just 
What their gimmick is, you counter it by being Sword and Shield, by being able to have the maneuverability and item usage that you have with Sword and Shield. Balazark being one of the biggest fucking examples. I don't know if this monster is as strictly... Um, you're wondering what I did there. I fucked up the hit point, that's what I did there. Um, I accidentally pressed circle again when I thought I had one more round slash, and I didn't. Uh, you're wondering what happened there. But, um... I don't think this is. I don't think Alatreon is strictly. Fucking, I keep fucking up this thing. Alatreon is not hard countering my weapon per se. Again, I have what is probably one of the better element weapons in the game. I'm just not very good at it. But it is a hard counter to my play style, which is. I have sets that are not based around doing a lot of damage quickly, but are based around enough survivability that I will be able to succeed at the hunt because I will be able to out-survive the monster. Like, not strictly Battle of Attrition, because it's... But, like... I can survive well enough in my set and my skills that the monster won't be able to get to a point where it can kill me. And unfortunately, Alatreon's just a hard counter to that. Because Alatreon is, if you don't DPS me, I'm going to hard counter you with a one-hit kill. So, like, fine. Also, yeah, just looking at the way this fucker is, I really feel like it's gonna be Bogans. It's in the air too much for, I think, dual blades. Like, you're just in the air right now, and there's nothing I can do about it. Like, there's nothing I can do to actually get you out of the fucking air. And you move around too much in the air for me to chip away your back legs, even though they are weak. Wow, 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 Like, I've died three times. Oh, God. I've died three times to Alatreon. Every single one of those deaths has been its one-hit kill move that fail that kills you if you don't DPS check it. Like, none of its other moves have killed me. And honestly, it hasn't been that dangerous for me to die to any of its other shit. It's pure DPS. It makes, a it's a, it makes for a very different style of fight, where it's... Like, I don't think it's individual... Like, it's individual attacks are not so bad to dodge. There's a lot of telegraph to them. Like, and they're pretty specific in where they hit. Like, he doesn't have many hits that are bodily swipes or anything, where it's watch the animation on his body and see what he's doing. It's he'll cast an element, watch what the element is doing, and it tells you pretty specifically where it's attacking, like, in what cones, in what patterns, and everything like that. So, his individual attacks don't seem that dangerous to dodge, and they're not even that damaging to, like, get out of the way of. There's some like that where it's just, like, they'll kill you quick if you don't get out of the way. But, um, they're still not, like, the hardest things. You are just doing this so fucking often. Your healing items ready. How I swear you speed up how fast you do it as the fight goes on. Like, he's doing it faster as the fight goes on. That was like four minutes if that. That's why Eskaton 3 and Eskaton 4. Um Yeah, his individual attacks are not super devastating in terms of like stopping you by killing you. Like they're not that. But they're devastating in that. They're very large patterns. They're sometimes very long attacks, like the, the triple explosion ring, or the thunder, 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 like pattern, or just thunder everywhere, or anything like that, or just ice going everywhere. His attacks are really good, and not super good at like killing you, but getting out of the way of his attacks, they're super good at stopping you from attacking him. And he's a DPS check fight, so. Um, like, he's a hard counter in that sense. Um, yeah, it's just, he's perfect at countering how I've played this game up till this point. And that's a fucking problem. <laughs> I don't know how to DPS. I'm not good enough at the game to DPS. Um, and again, I went into this with a set that is not designed over, uh, like, I, I don't know. I don't know how to make a sword and shield elemental DPS set. Like, I don't know how to do that. Um, because it's not something I've ever done before. But, um, I wonder if it'd be better to try and find a lobby of people, or whether it would be better to try and just SOS it. I don't know. 
thing is, I know what I'm doing right now is not working. And I don't even know if I need to go in if I'm doing a team battle. I don't even know if I need... I should probably go in with wide range, eh? Like, how bad is Eschaton if it's weakened? Is it still a risk of dying, or is it, like, pitiful? Because if it's still a risk of dying, I kind of want to wide range everyone and heal the fuck out of them. Um... So, I don't know. Hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure here. Do I go in with this and change out my Dream Fang and Challenger Charm for my element shit? Is that what I end up going for? Because I think it might be what I'm going for right now. I'm just gonna do that. We'll give it a shot. That won't succeed. Uh, is it these ones? No. There's so many fucking weapons. There it is! So yeah, like, yeah. One of the elements isn't even up. Like, it's only 370. Like, savvy weapons are actually not great for element, it, it turns out. Um, like, they're not fantastic, I'm aware. But, again, it's just the easiest thing I could, I could get going. Um, like, on what on short notice. Because I already had a lot of, um, of my thing. What's it called? Ah! Safi things. Like, I had killed a bunch of Safi before, and without even, like, actually needing it, so I had a lot of, um, Safi parts left over, so I just chucked it all into, um, the Drag Fang. Um... Like, cause, uh... What... What dual blades are gonna be good? <laughs> I don't know. I might look up builds for this. Just be like, I mean, I don't even know if Dragon's the best one. I don't even know if Dragon's the best one. Have I been asked to go see Ecology at all? Or do I need to beat you to see Ecology? Also, I should probably check on you, because I feel like it's been a while I've checked on you, and I probably fucked up, and it's probably over. Not perfect time to actually check on you. Um, I'm not going to worry about picking up stuff right now, but I'm just going to quickly fertilize it. There we go. Perfect. I'm trying to get to up to a thousand of every item in the inbox, because fuck it. Um, that's what my life is about now. Alright. There we go. Gourmet voucher. I'm still eating uh, for safeguard. Not the safeguard will matter if you... So the problem is, if you go in with a team... This is what I'm worried about with a team. If you go in with a team, and you don't weaken Eschaton Judgment, you get one Eschaton Judgment. That's what I'm fucking terrified of. That's what I'm terrified of. Anyway. Um, nice day, huh? So I'm gonna go in, and join SOS, fail someone else's, <laughs> else's SOS quest uh, by going in. Um, or be carried by people, it's also possible. Um, so yeah, you got a burst cannon. I don't want to join this because there's someone with a great sword. There's someone with a great sword here. I mean, you've got, you've at least got jewel blades. I have no idea what quality of jewel blades they are. Like, whether they're, are they good element ones? I've got no fucking idea. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, Kajar, I'm joining you. Kajar, I see Kajar dual blades. Fuck! No! <laughs> Can I say target leader must have Kajar dual blades? Can I do that? Alright. We're looking for Kajar stuff. Where are ya? So you got Shadow Claws. Again, not element. I at least changed to an element thing for this. Fuck. Um, I'll try and join these people. They're gonna be way too late. Yeah, fucking. Again, within a few hours of the quest coming out, it's gonna be very difficult. If I got that Kajar person, I would have been carried. I swear to god, I would have been carried. Uh, Kajar sword! Damn it! <laughs> I will join someone with a Kajar weapon! Just one of you bastards needs to be critical elementing for me. Uh, that's all I need. Nope, nope, great sword. Nope, great sword. <laughs> Just immediately abandon any fucking quest where someone's using a great sword. Kajar! Go! 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 Damn it! <laughs> My PS4 loads too slow. This is this is PS4 Pro people getting the better of me because of this shit. Like I, I seriously don't even want to join in people and not using fucking Kajar! Go! Go! Same fucking person. Did they fail, or are they rejecting me for not using Kajar? I wonder if that. Okay. I suppose the same person that I tried to join earlier. Uh, did I pick up new items? I don't even know if I reset my item box. No, I did not. Okay, wide range, here we go! I have Jerky on this, right? Yes, I do. 
I do have jerky. Okay. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Like, if you go to join an SOS for people fighting Electro and people are using blast weapons, like, what the fuck's the point? Like, you have to read the element shit. Before you get into this, you do that, it pops up. Use element weapons. Status and non-elemental don't work. Like, I don't care we if it's your- elemental weapons should be able to shut down Alatreon's powers. So non-elemental weapons won't be of much use, huh? Hunters, you got that? Apparently not! Apparently not! Where are you? I hid you behind me! Alatreon? Ah, uh, here we go. Incredible power. If that power isn't contained, it could be the end of us all. Okay. I mean, you know what I'm also realizing? I don't have blight resistance on this set, so uh wait, did I not? I have wide range on here, right? I swear I have wide range on this. No, I do. I do. Because wide range, I was about to say, I must have wide range on here because wide range on my set here isn't my charm. Really? Oh, I'm, I've got dragon blight. Okay. Yeah, no. If I'm building a set for this, I'm getting, I'm getting blight resistance back. Like, yeah. Damn it, Cloaca! I fucking trusted you. You're using Kajar weapons. You're using Kajar Jewel Blades of all fucking things. You were the chosen one and you fucking du uh oh, I'm on your wing. I did not realize I was on your wing. Aha! Perfect timing! Damn it! Your body ever so slightly moves. You know, if I'm building a set to go into this, it's going to be... Dra uh, have uh, elemental blight on there. Cause you don't want, you don't want. To, this is the worst fight to be dragon blighted in. And in terms of design, in terms of just like, is it a super fun idea to build to design this fight around being a series of DPS checks on a specific type of DPS? Um, and that being the primary challenge behind it, like, is that a super, like, like, this is my set, like, super fair or anything like that? Like, yeah, there are certain weapons that just, like, cause if it was a general DPS check, then it would be any weapon that, uh, can do it, because any weapon can DPS if you set up the weapon right. Um, but being specific, like, there are, ele like, certain weapons are better at raw, certain weapons are better at element. Like, that's just how the game works. So the fact that it's specifically how you do an element here is a bit weird. And again, the fact that the toughness of the fight comes from how much can you element, um, like, like the difficulty comes from the, um, DPS checks and everything like that. I mean, it makes it feel more mmo -y, which is something that they're absolutely doing for a lot of their big updates out um, in here because well, that's just been their fucking, like that's like MMO like type shit has been behemoth and, um, What's it called? Ancient Leshen, and even uh, Kulturov, because also uh, has uh, DPS checks, especially Master Rank version, because there's no Sage to it, so it's literally... So that's just general DPS, though, and it's... But it's like, if you don't DPS check it once, it leaves and you fail the quest. There's no death to it, where at least here, well, you have multiple chances. If you fa Like, if you fail one DPS check, you don't just immediately fail the quest, you get a card, kind of thing. Um, like, how good is it? Like, is it great from a design perspective? Um, to just have the fight be, it's based around DPS checks with a certain type of damage? Uh, I don't know, I think it's a bit iffy. I feel like it's a bit iffy in terms of whether that's, like, good. Like, I understand that certain, um, like, I understand certain weapons being better against certain monsters. Just the inherent nature of it has to be that. Um, but the idea of certain weapons just having a harder time succeeding the quest in of itself, I don't know. I, I, like, in terms of just... Does Eskaton Judgment feel like a bullshit move that's unfair and ruins the fight? 
Uh, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. Like, I would say that. Like, having seen this, the, the like that first fight, I would definitely say no. The entire it's it's similar to Behemoth. Like, like Sappy Sapphire of the Emperor is dumb. It's a visually striking move in terms of how it what it means for the flow of the fight and everything. It's dumb and it's bad because. Sapphire of the Emperor, Emperor is just a one hit if you're not in certain spots of the fight, and how it functions doesn't interact with the rest of the fight in any capacity. Nothing about what you do in the rest of the fight determines your success or failure or how you survive um, Sapphire of the Emperor. Like, it means nothing. It is just an opportunity to sharpen. Hell yeah! Where's your head? Where your head at? I'm in the bullet wrong end of your body. I fucked up that frog. God damn it. Uh, wow, I, well, I butchered everything then for, the, for everyone there. I meant this. God damn it. Um, like, Sapphire the Ember in terms of gameplay mechanics isn't great. Um, also just, like, it's a visually striking move, but when it's a move that it does multiple times throughout the fight, it gets very dull. So, uh, okay, well, we failed. Alright, yo, everyone get over here! Get your healing items ready. Yeah, we're dead. Bye! And quest failed! Yeah, see, so that's the problem with, um, going into SOS flare, is that if you fail us, because on Judgment, you fail it once and you're gone! Um... So, yes. So, here's... Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, like, I'm gonna go, I will do research, I will get a proper element build, and I'll try and go into it proper. Um, if I can't do it solo then, I don't like my chance of being out of solo with other people. Just getting enough people to solo to like go in with a team who aren't gonna fuck it up. Ah uh, no, how well that's gonna work out. Um, yeah. So yeah, so is es Eskaton Judgment bullshit? It's hard to say, obviously, as I've only done the fight twice. But like, Behemoth's Ecliptic Meteor. The fight is structured around Ecliptic Meteor. It will cast a comet, and the comet falls down, lands somewhere. That's your key to surviving it. Then the rest of the fight, once it's landed, is based around that. Use someone to draw enmity to draw its attacks away from that. It becomes about how can you manage someone getting the enmity, and then controlling it so you can keep up the damage with the enmity there for the person who's got it, and for the other people to get in their own DPS damage and possibly heal or support the person who's got the enemy because they're the focus of a lot of bullshit once they get it. How well can you as a team manage Behemoth to keep the Comets alive to survive Ecliptic Meteor? So even though it's a one hit, it's a test of what you've done up till that point. Like, it's... Like, whether you s survive Ecliptic Meteor or not depends on how you went up to it before. Um... If you did well enough, you'll survive it, or at least you'll have a much better chance of surviving it if you keep more comets alive, or you, you place the comet in a good position to both keep it not destroyed and also easy enough to get behind so people can't be stuck on the other side of the arena. Like, it's a test of what you've done up till that point. If you don't enjoy it, that I, to I still totally get that, but, like, it makes sense. Sapphire of the Emperor has no connection to the rest of the Sapphire Jiva fight, so it's dumb. Because it's just, if you fuck up, like... There's nothing intrinsic about it that is a test compared to the rest of the fight. It just happens every now and then. If you fuck up, you die. Um, so it's just... It has one particular attack that'll kill you. Its other attacks won't gu aren't guaranteed to kill you in one hit. And that's just it. And it has no... Like, it doesn't connect to the rest of the fight. So it's dumb. Eschaton Judgment. From what I can tell, at least, again, having done two fights where I failed... It totally seems like the fight is built around Eschaton Judgment. It is... Again, the, its normal attacks are not that bad. It, they really aren't. They're relatively easy to survive. They're very well telegraphed. Um, like, for an endgame monster, these are some of the most telegraphed attacks that I've fucking seen in this game. Um, and their hitboxes are super clear, because they're highlighted on the ground in colours before they hit. Like, except for some of its faster projectiles out of its mouth. But even then, it's just like... There's usually large wind-up animations on air, or you can hear, or like you can see the crackling of an element um, around its mouth or its horns before it does that. 
So, its normal attacks are about trying to fuck you up enough that you can't DPS check it. So, it is built around survive, like, you survive it by what you've done up to that point. It's a much harsher test than Behemoth, because Behemoth isn't a DPS check, it is a area management and team management thing um and even if you do fuck that up you can survive by if you can time it well you, there is a, a skill check to get out of it of just if you can time you jump right you can still survive even if you fuck up the rest where latrion is no dps check you win or you lose well there is a definite lose even if you succeed like even if you do weaken it i don't know how much you weaken it like do you still have to like manage as a team everyone healing everyone with life powders or health boosters and shit to survive it i don't know uh but maybe and that's what worries me but um so it definitely seems like the fight is built around eschaton judgment and it, the the fight is designed to make it harder to dps check eschaton judgment more than trying to kill you i actually really like the rest of its attacks um because they're overwhelming in terms of just how much shit is going on, but they're not so. Over but they're not overwhelming in that they're gonna kill you, um, you know, unless you're cloaca. But um, like I'd I'd need to do it more and everything to see. Does it gel well enough with Eskaton Judgment that Eskaton Judgment isn't bullshit? Because I can understand. Fuck off, Black Dragon. We need something that is harder to accomplish than other stuff. Even if it's a DPS check or you die, guess what? You wanna not die? Fucking DPS it. Like, dodge all of these attacks that have a lot of, like, the, the attacks hit very large areas. Um, and it's like, dodge the attacks and DPS the monster or you're fucking dead. You want a challenge? Here's your challenge. You can't do the type of shit that I've done the entire fucking game, which is make your build with enough inherent survivability that you can outlast any monster. Because it won't get to a point where it can kill you in one go, but you'll get to a point where you will eventually kill it. Because you don't need to kill it in one go. You just need to eventually kill it. It needs to kill you in one go multiple times. So you build enough set with enough survivability or at least recoverability from your fuck-ups, and you could survive. Yeah, Elatrion's a hard counter to that. It's a hard counter to how I've played this entire fucking game, so I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to beat it. Like, I'm worried that this is going to be another behemoth of, I will clutchly, randomly get it with other people, and I don't know how the fuck I'm going to solo it. But, like, I don't know enough about element builds, or even dual blades or bowgun builds to know how to do element builds well for this so i'm gonna look up element builds possibly even specifically alatreon counter builds uh i might just make one of those straight up and possibly have to wait for colv to come back into rotation and then grind out colv weapons because i have literally zero <laughs> i mean even if i had the colv weapons that i kept i never got a good one from the time stone colv before i don't have any kajar ones that actually come with critical elements um and just the idea of building a silver rathalos so i'm i might actually i might what i might need to do is try to just do it fucking now to just get silver rathalos um set so i can get silver rathalos essence on the fucking um safi weapon because safi's available right now uh, that might be the, the better goal. But I'm going to look up element web builds. I'm going to go back in and try it. And we'll see how it goes. I imagine I'll probably need jewel blades. The thing that worries me with jewel blades is how do I attack it when it's in the air? Or are there ways of stopping it from being in the air more? I don't know. I feel like this is definitely a type of fight that I'm going to need to do research before I'm able to beat it. <laughs> Again, all random it with strangers. And it's the same with, like, extreme behemoth. I don't have any weapons or sets or builds or skills that like are good at extreme behemoth. Like normal behemoth, I can do fine. Yeah, like I I help carry a team just as well as normal behemoth. Um, as that, but extreme behemoth, yeah, fuck off. Um, an ancient legend, like I genuinely learned to the point where I was one of the more useful people on the teams that I was doing. Just other people couldn't keep up with me. I have an ancient legend, but this one's hard countering me. So. I'll be back at some point. I don't even know if it's going to be the next video. Because I feel like this is going to be a hard fucking wall for me. So, until whenever I next attempt... Uh, I, I, by the way, I'm not guaranteeing that the next video you see on Alatreon, I beat Alatreon. I'm not doing that. If I record it, it's going up. Whether I beat it or not, I, who fucking knows. Um, if, I, if it takes four videos to beat Alatreon, you will join me on that fucking journey. 
Uh, because again, this is the hard war for me, so. So, until next time. It may not even be Yellow Train, because there's like a festival happening in like two weeks or so. Until then, this is version two, signing out.